Oops. Nobody's here. <laughs> well, let's go, students. Students. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Get out of there. Okay. All right. Well, it's been about five minutes into the class, and no students have arrived yet. So I'll go ahead and start my lecture on conditionals. Uh, there's three types of conditionals in the English language there is the first conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. Um, there's a band-aid on my finger. Yes, I cut myself. Um, all right, the first conditional um, doesn't really apply to this class um, when you're talking about unreal conditionals. The reason why is because the first conditional talks about real possibilities. So um, the first conditional isn't applicable to this class because the topic is on unreal conditionals, things that are not possible. So um, the two conditionals that talk about unreal things are the second conditional and third conditional. Okay. Um, so I've prepared a slideshow 
for everyone to see, but no one's here to watch it. <laughs> it oh, here, uh, okay, somebody joined. Great. No one's here to watch it. <laughs> okay, hi, Daniel. Hi. Hi. Good morning, evening, night. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm I'm beginner, but I'd like to see the class, and I decide to join the this talk. So you can go on if you. Okay. Sure. Um, well, if I speak too fast for you, just uh, say, "Hey, Juan, uh, slow down a little bit." Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is a grammar class um, talking about conditionals. Conditionals in the English language focus on the word if. Yeah. If blah 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 blah. If so, clauses. Yes. Isn't if, it? If, right. If clauses. So um, when you're talking about conditionals, there are um, conditionals that are real. And if you look, I think you can see the right of the page. It talks about the first conditional. Okay. Can you see that? Yes. Yeah, it says uh, we use the first conditional to talk about future events that are likely to happen. So there's an example there. If we take John, he'll be really pleased. If you give me some money, I'll pay you tomorrow. So these are uh, real conditions. Um, for this class, we're going to talk about unreal conditions, things that um, are not likely to happen or have not happened. Okay. Um, all right. These type are you? Okay. All right. Sure. Okay, it's all right. Um, okay, so uh, I prepared a slideshow to explain uh, the second and third conditionals, and uh, you can stop me at any time and ask questions. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's see if I can. Okay. Can you see the presentation? Is it very big? Just a moment. Uh, I have to click uh, Google Drive to see. Uh, tr try that. Try it. Yeah. Uh Hi. -huh. Hi. Hi, Jessica. Okay. Okay, we've got some other students joining. Oh, Renee's here. Great. What's up? Hey, how you doing? Fine, thank you. Great, great. Well, you're just in time. All right. Um... Renee, maybe you can help me. I'm trying to show a presentation in Google Drive. I have it open, but um, I'm not sure if you can see it um, very in, on the screen. So it's very big. Hmm. Is it showing uh, sm as small or big on your on your computer screens? 
it says like uh, I need uh, request mm -hmm. access. Sorry. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And I send you the request. Okay, sure. Yeah, go ahead and send the request. Ready. I'm sorry, guys. My phone is ringing. Oh, it's okay. Okay. No. No request. Okay, let me try screen share. Let's see if that will work. Do you share your screen? Say, say again. Share your screen. Right, I'm, I'm going to try screen share and uh, maybe this one will work. Okay, is there a big, can you see a big, uh, big screen now? Yeah. Okay, it's big. What what do you see? Your, uh, your screen. Just the uh, real conditionals. Okay. Yeah. All right, good. Perfect. All right. So the uh, grammar topic for this class is uh, unreal conditionals. So I will explain these. Stop me at any time if you have questions, okay? All right, um, so Unreal Conditionals. Okay, the first Unreal Conditional is the second conditional. Okay, so if you look at the definition, the second conditional refers to an unreal or very unlikely situation in the present time. So that's the key word there. It's an unreal or unlikely situation in the present time. The most confusing thing about the second conditional is that we use the past tense in the if clause, even though we're referring to the present. Okay, so this is a little confusing for many people when they're trying to speak about an unlikely or unreal situation in the present. But uh, what we'll do now is look at an example to help you understand better. Okay, so uh, consider the following examples. All right. Um, anyone, any volunteers who would like to read the uh, first example? Anybody? I can't Hi, see it. Can't see it? There no. Who, who cannot see? Not yet. Me. Okay. Click in the two. Uh, if maybe it works. Can everyone see? No. No? I just see unreal conditionals. Oh, uh, the first is lady. The okay. second and falling, you can read it. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Can you, can you zoom in on, on this? Or maybe I, I have to zoom it for you. Sorry, this is my first time to use this uh, presentation, so... Uh, 
Okay. Let's just use it this way. Um, okay, the second conditional refers to the second conditional refers to an unreal or very unlikely situation in the present time. The most confusing thing about the second conditional is that we use the past tense in the if clause, even though we're referring to the present. Okay, so this is um, a little difficult to understand for some, but um, hopefully I can explain it uh, much better. Okay, uh, what is happening? Okay, all right, here's some examples. Okay. Okay, consider the following examples, all right? I am very busy and very broke. I have no money. As I am sitting here in front of my computer, I'm thinking about taking a trip to South America. It would be really nice to go to the airport and get on a plane right now. However, this is completely impossible. I can express this by saying, if I had the time, I would go to America. I can also say, if I had the money, I would. South America. Okay. The person's broke. He has no money. He wants to go to South America. And he says it'd be nice if he could go to the airport and get on a plane now. But it's impossible because he has no money. So with the second conditional you can express this if I had the time I would go to South America or if I had the money I would go to South America okay group chat yeah. all right is that a little better Okay. Yeah, right, much better. Look. Okay, let's look at the second one. My friend John is always talking about how expensive restaurants are. He never goes to the grocery store, and his kitchen cupboards are always empty. One day he starts complaining again. I say, John, if you learned past tense, if you learned how to cook, you wouldn't need to eat out all of the time. Okay? So when you express this in the second conditional, it is unlikely that John will learn how to cook. All right. Um, is, does this uh, make sense for you? You're talking in the present tense, but you're using a past tense word. All right. Any any questions so far? No. All right. We'll continue. Okay. Now that you understand the past tense in the if clause when it refers to the present time, there is one other rule you should be aware of. Sometimes when you hear native speakers talking, they often break this rule, but um, as English learners, you should try and practice this rule, especially in for formal speech and formal writing. Okay, if the main verb in the if clause is be, we use the word were with all subjects, including 
first and third person singular. This is called the subjunctive mood, okay? That sounds, uh, that might sound very complicated, but on the next slide I have some examples which will explain that a little better for you. So it's, uh, the, the point here is to remember if the main verb in the if clause is be, like is, am, then we use were with all subjects, okay? So let's take a look at the example. Okay. Consider the following examples. Okay, I'm going to have you guys uh, read these, okay? Let's, uh, Renee, can you try the first one? <laughs> examples. Consider the following examples. If if I were rich, I would travel around the world. Unreal. I'm not rich. Okay. If right. Okay. all right, all right. Okay. Um. How about let's try uh, Jessica? Can you try the second one? I think Jessica is on the phone. <laughs> okay. Uh, Luan, are you there? Luan's not there. Uh, Daniel. Okay. Okay. If I were president, I would give everyone free health care. Okay. Obviously, unreal. You're not the president. There's only one president. Okay, Renee, let's try the next one. All right. If I were you, I would study hard. Obviously, unreal. I'm not you. Okay. All right. Um, next one. Daniel. Uh, if Napoleon were alive today, he ought to be fight a war. Unreal. Napoleon is dead. Right, correct. Okay, last one, Rene. If my brother were here, he wouldn't buy me a beer. Unreal, my brother is in Costa Rica. Okay, good. All right, so um, the, the point I was making in the last line was that Remember, if the main verb in the if clause is be, we always use were in, in all subjects. Now, when you hear native speakers talking sometimes, they will tend to use was. Mm -hmm. This is not correct. So, for example, um, you might hear a native speaker say, if if I was President Obama, I would uh, give everyone one million dollars. Okay. All right. Although you can understand what what the person is saying with this sentence, if I was oh President Obama, um, you know it still it still makes sense. But of course, this is grammatically incorrect. You should use were if I were oh President Obama. If I were President Obama, okay. All right, I'll close the chat. All right, now let's talk about the third conditional. Okay, so we just finished talking about the first conditional. Now let's talk about the <coughs> third. Okay, the third conditional refers to an unreal situation in the past. In other words, it refers to something that did not happen in the past 
though maybe it was once an option. Okay. The most confusing thing about the third conditional is that we use the past perfect tense in the if clause even though we're referring to the past. Okay. Uh, and now I will give you some examples. Okay. Consider the following examples. My friend Liz likes this guy named Joe. Last week I had a party. Joe came to my party. Liz's parents were in town, so she went out to dinner with them. She did not come to the party. I tell her, too bad. If you had come to the party, you would have seen Joe. Okay. All right. Uh, let's look at the next one. I took three weeks off work in January. Since I didn't get paid for my time off, I don't have any extra money right now. I can express this by saying, if I hadn't, if I had not taken that time off, I would have more money. Okay. So yeah. these are examples of third conditional. Remember the rule? Let's go back to the rule. Um, this third conditional refers to something that did not happen in the past, though maybe it was once an option. Okay. And we will always use the past perfect. Had blah, blah, blah. Okay. Had it taken, had come, so had or had not. All right. Now, always we we use uh, the past perfect and the the word the world. Example: If I had time, I would stood more. Something like this, or correct? Yeah. If I had time, I would study more. Okay. Good. Yes. Or if if I had time, if I had more time during college, I would have gone to uh, more parties. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, now, let's talk about the rules that native speakers break with this. All right. Uh, now that you know the rule for the uh, third conditional, you should be aware that native speakers will sometimes break this rule also. Um, in an informal conversation, people might say, if you would have gone to Mexico, you would have a tan. Um, of course, this is not grammatically correct, so how would you correct this sentence? Can if anyone you correct would this? had gone to Mexico. Right, correct. Okay. If you had gone to Mexico, you would have a tan. All right, so uh, that's it for uh, the rules on conditionals. Uh, hopefully it's not too boring for you. Um, what I prepared for the rest of the class is uh, some exercises using conditionals. So I will close this out. And let's go here. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to give uh, each of you a chance to try and create the correct sentence using these scrambled sentences, okay? So uh, 
let's go in order. Daniel, uh, Leonardo, and Renee, if he's not too busy. Yeah. Okay. And he said, be right back. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, I missed it. Okay. Got it. All right. Okay. So, um, let's see. Can you try the first box? You can type it or speak. Can you try the, can you can you try this box? Um Daniel. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, had lips. Mm -hmm. Kitchens had lips. They table useless. Okay. All right. If chicken had lips, ah, oh, these aren't scrambled. <laughs> Sorry, these aren't scrambled sentences. They're in correct order. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, worthless. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't catch this. Um, okay. Let's skip this part. We'll, 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 we'll let's just look at these uh, examples, okay? Um, all right. How about the, this uh, this sentence, uh, Renee? I wouldn't eat that if I were you, okay? Um, when when would someone use this sentence? I wouldn't eat that if I were you. When what? Okay. I Here. wouldn't eat that if I were you. Yeah, I wouldn't eat that if I were you. When when would someone use this? Uh, when you eat in the street, mm -hmm. and you you see the the food a little dirty. Okay. Yes. Uh, or uh, maybe someone again. is. Uh huh. And advice. Say say again. Advice. Right. You're giving advice, and the person has not eaten the food yet. So uh, yeah, I wouldn't eat that if I were you. Okay. Let's try the next one. I wouldn't marry you. If you were the last person on earth, who would say something like this? <laughs> <laughs> He's a really bad person. <laughs> right. <he's a> really <laughs> Has anyone uh, told you this before? <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 Has, has, has any girl ever told you that before? Not yet. No. Yeah. So uh, this this is an unreal condition uh, because the girl maybe the girl is saying to you um, even if you everyone else was dead in the world you would uh, I would still not marry you if you were the last person on earth okay so she really hates you but I th I think when women say this they actually like the person yeah probably. Or yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, next one. If I asked you out on a date, what would you say? Okay. Uh, when when would you say this? Uh, um, say again. Out on. I didn't get the sentence. If I asked you out on a date, out on a date, can you please explain me? Okay. If I asked you out. On a date, so let's say you you just met a girl, or 
maybe a girl is a good friend of yours and you're you're unsure whether she would date you or not so maybe you would tell her uh, if I asked you to go on a date with me if I asked you to go to the movies or to a restaurant with me or to a nightclub uh, yeah. what would you say so it, it's sort of uh, imaginary if I ask you what would you say so you're trying to get her to tell you an answer maybe she will say uh, there's no way I would go out with you on a date or she would say sure I would I would probably uh, go out with you on Saturday okay it, is that uh, more clear yeah or, yeah sure. okay all right okay next one I wouldn't have said that if I were you okay when would someone say this um, if someone said, said some bad things right so uh, maybe let's say you're in class and you tell the teacher teacher you're the worst teacher I've ever had in my life <laughs> You're uh, blocked and kicked out. Yeah, you're you're blocked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then another another classmate might say, uh, "I wouldn't have said that as if I were you, because yeah, you know, like Renee said, you're blocked, you're kicked out, or maybe that teacher will uh, wants to give you a bad grade, uh, or that teacher just doesn't like you anymore." Okay. Um, okay. Let's try the next one. I would if I could, but I can't, so I won't. <laughs> <laughs> this one's great. Yeah, let, let's type. Let's talk about this one. I will type it in the chat. All right. Like a tongue twister. <laughs> yeah. Seems confused, but it isn't. It's clear. Yes. Okay, I would if I could, but I can't, so I won't. Yeah. All right. Um, he wants, but he can't, so right. there is no way to do it. So he won't. Right. I can say. Uh, I I can say, uh, Leonardo, would you like to fly to the moon? <laughs> yes, I would. But, so. I couldn't because I have no money, so I won't. <laughs> yeah, I would if I could, but I can't. I don't have a spaceship, so yeah. I won't. Yeah. All right, good. Okay. If you really loved me, you wouldn't have done that. Oh, God. Uh, maybe... When, when would you hear this phrase? <laughs> if you really loved me, you wouldn't have done that. Shit on. <laughs> when did you? <laughs> You're kidding right. me. Exactly. That's exactly what popped into my mind. Yeah, maybe you've cheated on your girlfriend. Yeah, and just one question. Um, uh -huh. Instead of have, should we use had or have is correct? Okay, if you really, if you had really loved me. So remember the rule. Um, remember the rule you would use had when using uh, the second conditional, had. So you, yes, you can put if you had really loved me, you wouldn't have done that mm, okay but I mean uh, you wouldn't had done that is it if correct you, if you wouldn't at the chat box okay let's check the rule that's 
That's a good question. All right. Uh, where's my... Let's check the rules again. I have joined at the end of the class. <laughs> talking about the third conditional if you wouldn't had no 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 I don't I don't think that's correct because um, if you remember the rules the third conditional refers to an unreal situation in the past so the sentence example you used is a real situation. That's a real okay. situation. Okay. Yes, that's a real situation. So you have to remember that for the second and third conditionals, we only refer to um, unreal situations when using um, had or have. Okay. Do you Sorry. have just one example about the second conditional? One example, second conditional. Yeah. Uh, here's the examples. Okay. I think your sentence refers to the first conditional, which I don't have the rules for at the moment, but let's see, your, your sentence was... Can you repeat it one more time? Um, it's the, the main sentence. I guess it, if you really love me, um, you wouldn't have done that. Yes. If you really love me, you wouldn't have done that. Yes. Or if you're referring to some point in time in the past, then you could say, if you had really loved me during that time. So maybe you dated this girl back in, you know, 2008. If you had really loved me back in 2008, you wouldn't have done that. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Um, let's get rid of drive. Okay. Um, if you could have seen the look on his face, you would have died. <laughs> All right. When 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 do you hear this expression? Uh, maybe when someone is doing a bad face, an ugly right. face. Right. If you had seen the look on his face when his girlfriend caught him cheating you would have died or if you had seen the look on his face when he won uh, won the contest you would have died okay okay all right last one had I known that you were such a flake a flake meaning an unreliable person I wouldn't have asked you to house sit for me All right. So had I known that you were unreliable, I wouldn't have asked you to babysit or house sit for me. Okay. So those are examples of unreal conditionals. Um, now I want to just, for the last part of class, just ask you different questions okay and try to speak in unreal conditionals using uh, second or third okay yeah all right so uh, Renee what yep. would you do if your mother won ten million dollars Whoa. <laughs> 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 I'd buy a house, a car, 
a new computer. <laughs> okay. A lot of things. All right, I'm going to answer Daniel's question. How sit? To stay in someone's home. Okay. So, for example, I can I can say, "Hey Daniel, I'm going on vacation to Australia for one week and I want you to house sit." Make sure the dogs are fed and um, water the plants and don't have any parties while I'm gone. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, all right, Daniel, what, what would you do if your mother won one million dollars? <laughs> What would you do? Make a trip. Make a trip. Where where would you go? Yeah. Canada. Canada. Canadian. Oh, Canada. Canada. Mm -hmm. Holland. Mm -hmm. And so on until uh, while the one million dollars mm -hmm. exist. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let, let me try a different question. Um, okay, this is a funny one. All right. Conditional, unreal conditions. Wait a second. Uh, okay. If, if if you were in a bar and a person offered you fifty dollars to kiss a complete stranger on the cheek without saying anything first would you do it <laughs> why or why not okay <laughs> <laughs> who can answer if it's a girl I did <laughs> I do it <laughs> yeah F fifty dollars <laughs> yeah it's a good price for uh, what, what? Slap in the face. <laughs> <laughs> what, what if what if, uh, what if the requirement is guys and girls? Fifty dollars in the cheek. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> I will say it. I'm French. I'm a French guy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> We <laughs> we <Oui, oui. laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Punch uh, in the face. Yeah, you might get punched. You might get punched uh, for that fifty dollars. Uh, it you you may lose money because you will have to use the fifty dollars at the at the hospital. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. The situation. Maybe if I was a little drunk, it would be easier. <laughs> yeah, dollars, I could yeah. do a lot of things. Well, you know, I I, I would try to, uh, you know, just kiss about uh, ten people really quickly so I could, you know, get five hundred dollars and leave before I get punched. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you would to be a little fast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let's try a different question. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Okay.
Okay, let's try this one. Alright, imagine someone gave you $20,000 on the condition that you had to spend it all in two weeks. What would you do with the money? I could think I could spend this in less than two weeks, $20,000. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think that's very hard to do. Well... What 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 would you do? Second if conditions say that you could not buy anything that it could be kept. Uh, you could be kept in maybe a car or a house. Mm -hmm. um, yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. Good. So yeah, let's look at the second condition. You can't buy anything that you can keep. Okay. So you can, okay. yeah. So you can't. You can't buy a house or a car because you can keep these things. You can't. No, you can't. You couldn't buy an Xbox. Yeah. Uh, so you, you can keep an Xbox. Yeah, I guess the easier way, maybe a trip around the world, yeah, and the Europe. I would spend a lot of money, uh, eating, uh, having a breakfast, sleeping at a. Uh, an expensive hotel, so things like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. How, how about you, Renee or Daniel? Well, maybe I I would go to a bar and say, guys, this round's all of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rounds on me. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of rounds, $20,000. I know. <laughs> and you can go to, to to a restaurant and and pay the check. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. What what about you, Daniel? Uh any any other idea? Uh get some girls to to I'm not not the word exactly, but I don't know. Get some girls, <laughs> like a maybe like a pool party. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that that's that's cool. Pool party. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, okay. Let's try another one. How would life be different if everyone in the world had the same salary? So easy. <laughs> How would life be different if everyone in the world had this socialism? <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> yes. Um, so th th is this the case? Uh, no. Socialist countries. Venezuela? No. Mm, wh what's a country that uh, socialist that maybe Cuba. follows this? Cuba. 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 So, in a part so, of the China. Yeah, so everyone. Well, well China. Um, it's communist. Yeah, it's a little it, bit it, it, it's, it's, it's communist, but you have uh, differences in salary in, in China um, yeah. because you have so many foreign companies um, operating in China. So. Yeah, I know. For, for most um, successful uh, Chinese, they they really try to learn English, work for a, a foreign company because they can earn a much better salary than Chinese company. Um, yeah, so in Cuba, everyone earns the same or just about the same. 
Yeah. Wow, that's uh, unreal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, I guess when Fidel Castro dies, maybe Cuba will turn into a capitalism country. Yeah, that that would be nice. Um, oh, I don't think so. Yeah. Because his brother is yeah, in Robert. charge now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Ra 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 Raul. Uh -huh. And Cuba is opening the doors to capital, external capital. So they cannot live without buying things from another countries. So it's a uh, progressism. I mean, progress. I guess yeah. it's the word. Then maybe in a few years they will change the the type of the, the type of I don't know. They will turn into capitalism country. Mm -hmm. The Salvador. Well, Obama, President Obama, trying to. Uh make some relations with Cuba he allowed um, goods to be shipped from the US to Cuba for Cuban families um, they can now receive um, pro American products um, and this was like the first time you know in you know 50 years this ever happened so um, yeah I, I think they're slowly making progress but maybe Raul needs to go and they can have like a new person step in and make some changes to Cuba. Yeah, I agree. So right now I think they changing some things. Like if you don't have to to do more much things to get out to the island. Get out of the yeah. island. Now you yeah. can just uh, try to get the visa and you can left the island. I heard well, that. Well, well, for Americans, um, we would have to fly to a different country first if we wanted to go to Cuba. We, you, it's illegal to fly directly to Cuba. So you, I would have to go to Jamaica first or to uh, the Bahamas first and then catch an, another plane to Cuba. Um, so... Uh, I, I've I've always been jealous of people from like Canada or, or Mexico who could just fly there, you know, so freely. Um, all right. Uh, okay. Last question. We're about out of time. Uh, this is a famous question. It's been asked many times. I've I've heard this question many times before. Unreal conditional. If you can invite any four people, living or dead, to dinner, who would you invite and why? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 